Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living is Understanding the Word of God. We read in Matthew 13, verse 23 in the NIV, but the seed falling on the good soil refers to someone who hears, hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding 160 or 30 times what was sown. When you understand something that is truthful, you believe what you understand and then implement by putting it into practice what you believe. The seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding 160 or 30 times what was sown. The person who produces a crop yielding 160 and 30 times what was sown is called the good soil. What are the two types two, what are the two things required of the person to be called good soil? First, he hears the word of God. Second, he understands the word of God. Understand means to grasp meaning or something, to know or be able to explain to yourself the nature of somebody or something or the meaning or cause of something, to come to know something, to realize or realize or become aware of something. Good soil is a wise builder. And we read in Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 27. Therefore, everyone who hears, hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Both the wise and the foolish builder heard the word of God, but the wise one put the word of God into practice. The wise one understood the word of God. The wise one was good soil and put the word of God into practice. Wise, The wise builder was good soil because he was confident and trusted the word of God. He implemented by putting into practice through the demonstration of the word of God in his daily life. When you, re- when you receive and understand God's agape love and your identity in Christ Jesus, you will bear much fruit. The soul of your heart is filled with your new nature of agape love and righteousness. The fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, kindness, goodness, and self-control will overflow through you. All the legal rights and privileges of the kingdom of God are yours now. Amen and amen.